Hey there students, um, in this clip we're going to be going over an example on how to find the angle between our two vectors, okay? So let's go ahead and write down the title of the notes. Find the angle between the given pair of vectors, okay? Between the given pair of vectors. Um, so let's say we have for number one vector u, uh, which is three i i half plus four j half, and vector b, which is uh, two i half uh, minus j half. Okay. So I want to find the angle between between these two vectors. So let's just make a sketch just to give you a visual as to what we we are dealing with. Um, so let me just make a coordinate system right here. I'm going to assume that I'm going to draw these two vectors from the origin right here. So the first one uh, goes in the x direction. It goes to the right three and then up one, two, three, four. So vector um, u goes in a direction like this. And then vector v, we have... 2, 1, 2, and then goes down negative 1, okay? So something, something like this, for vector v. Okay, so uh, what the question is asking is, uh, what is the angle theta between these two vectors, okay? Let's say this is vector u, and this is vector v. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the dot product formula to uh, determine this. So the formula for the angle between two vectors, theta, is given by the inverse cosine of the dot product of u and v divided by the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v. It's as though you're just multiplying their respective um, unit vectors. Okay? All right, so where on earth did this formula come from? Let me just do a real quick derivation for you on the right side, uh, where where we got this formula. It just is just basically a version of the of the dot product formula. You recall that u dot v, um, u dot vector u dot v v is equal to the magnitude of vector u times the magnitude of vector v cosine theta. Okay. So if we do some algebra, um, some vector algebra on this equation, we'll end up with this. So what we'll do first is basically divide both sides by um, uh, by uh, the magnitude of vector u and the magnitude of vector v. So if we do that division, we're going to have uh, divide by, uh, let's change the color. Remember that the magnitude of vector u and v are scalar quantities. So it's as though we're just dividing by a number. Okay, so it's divided by magnitude of u and magnitude of v on both sides. Okay, so on the right side, these ones divide out to 1, and then these vectors V divide out to 1. Using the reflexive property of equality, we have cosine theta equals the magnitude of vector U dotted with the magnitude of vector V divided by, I mean, sorry, vector U dotted with V divided by the magnitude of vector U multiplied by the magnitude of vector V. Okay, all right. So, to finish this up, we just want to get theta by itself. So, what you do is you take the inverse cosine of both sides of the equation. So, inverse cosine of cosine theta equals the uh, inverse sine of uh, inverse cosine of cosine theta. Let me be consistent with my colors here. Of cosine theta on the right. And then on the left side, the same story, we're going to take the inverse cosine of this entire um, expression. So, we take the inverse cosine of um, u dot v divided by the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v. Okay? And what do we have happen on the left side? This cosine and the inverse are inverse operations, so they uh, cancel each other out. So you're left with theta equals um, the inverse cosine of u dot it would be divided by the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v. 
and there, there goes your formula. So this is basically how the formula is derived. Okay. All right. All right. So now we're going to apply this formula we just derived um, in computing the angle between these two vectors. Okay. So let's go ahead and do it. So theta. So theta equals is going to be the inverse cosine of um, vector u, which is 3i i hat plus 4j hat, dotted with a vector v, which is 2i hat minus j hat. And then this whole uh, expression divided by the magnitude of u and v, so the magnitude of vector u, which is 3i hat plus 4j hat. This is the scalar quantity, so we're just going to multiply it by the other scalar quantity, which is the magnitude of vector v, which is 2i hat minus j hat. Okay? Oh, okay, and then close that. All right, so now um, we're going to do them uh, one at a time. Let's do the top first. We're going to compute the uh, dot product. All right, so when computing the dot product, you just have to recall that um, the coefficient of i hat and, and uh, j hat are, well, the coefficient of j hat is basically 1, okay? So that's what we're going to be multiplying by. All right, so let's go ahead and do it. All right, so in the numerator, we're going to have Inverse cosine of, uh, you just multiply the i components, 3 times 2, 3 times 2, plus the product of the j components, which is 4. Now, the coefficient of the j hat is 1, so it's a 1 right here, so 4 times negative 1. All right, that goes for the numerator. And then the denominator, we're going to use the uh, magnitude property, which is uh, from the Pythagorean theorem, the square root of the sum of the square, so the square root of the um, i component square, which is 9, plus the j component square, which is 16. All right, that's the magnitude of vector v, and then the mag I mean, right, magnitude of vector u, and then the magnitude of vector v, same story, the square root of the sum of the squares, due to Pythagorean theorem, um, square the i component, which is 4, plus the square of the j component, which is uh, negative 1, but when you square that, uh, you get positive 1. Okay, that goes for the denominator. Okay, so let's simplify that. We have the inverse cosine of 3 times 2 is 6, 6 minus 4, divided by the square root of 25 times the square root of 4 plus 1, which is 5. All right, that simplifies further into the inverse cosine of 6 minus 4 is 2 over the square root of 25 is 5, root 5. Okay? All right, so we can just uh, plug this in our calculator to get our answer. I'm going to set it in degree mode and compute what the inverse cosine of this uh, quantity is, okay? All right, uh, so that goes the calculator. I'm going to set the mode to radian. I mean, I'm sorry, let's set the mode to, to degree. I already have it set to degree. You can switch to radian, but the, the result for this one is going to be in degree, okay? Let's set it to degree. I'm um, using a TI 89 calculator, as you can see. So we're going to plug in the inverse cosine of um, 2 divided by, I'm going to encapsulate the denominator in a parenthesis so I don't have a grouping error when my calculator is confusing the inverse cosine, okay? So to make sure that the denominator are combined, I'm just going to have a parenthesis to establish that this is the beginning of the denominator times 5 to the square root of 5, okay? So close that, that closes the radical, and that closes the entire denominator, close that, enter. Well, this is the exact answer. I have to hit count enter to get the approximate result. So, all right, so there you have it. So uh, basically, our, ooh, there you go. Um, that's 79.7, ran it to the 10th, 10th place. 79.7 uh, degrees is the angle between the two vectors, okay, 
0.7 degrees. So uh, what does this mean? Uh, graphically, let's go back to the original sketch we made. It basically means that the angle between these two vectors right here is 79.7 degrees. Okay, so that's basically how you calculate the angle between two vectors um, using the derivative of the uh, dot product formula plus inverse cosine of u dot v over minus of u and minus of v uh, together. Okay, so that's that. Alright, thanks so much for taking time to watch this video. Uh, please feel free to subscribe to my channel just by clicking up here. More videos coming from the Thanks again and have a wonderful day.